over recent years, early morning workouts at these ridiculous times of 3 to 4 a.m. have become increasingly popularized. But does anyone actually do this? Who are the people at the gym at this time? Is it all just an absolute sham and the gyms are empty? No. No. And if people actually do do this, why? I had to satisfy my curiosity. It is currently 3.20 a.m. It's time to go to the gym. What the fuck am I doing, man? Pretty much, I go to a commercial gym that 24 seven and surely people are curious to know, including myself, what happens at these types of gyms at like three or 4 a.m. in the morning. It's just past 3.30 a.m. I'm curious to know if there's just some absolute gremlins or monsters out there that are grinding away at, at these types of times. I'm on my way to the gym now and I can't lie, I'm actually really excited to see like what's happening. Like is it empty or is there actually someone there? As well. I can't see anyone in there. But it's looking promising. There's two cars. Oh, there's, there's two cars in the car park, man. Surely not. Approaching the gym now with the boy. The only geezer crazy enough to come this time as well. No! There's someone in there! It is 4.22. So yeah, we got there at 4 a.m. and there was already a guy in there deadlift. And you know, as you can probably tell, I am astonished. I wanted to know why and I did eventually get my answer, but at a later day. So, and I was also slightly cheesed at the fact that I didn't have the whole gym to myself. But I wanted to know why. Why was there someone there at such an early hour of the morning? What happened was we've got there at 4 a.m. in the morning and I'm expecting there to be absolutely no one. And I'm, I was sort of G'd because I was excited to get to the gym. There'd be no one there. And it's like the whole place is to myself, right? So I can take the top off. I can scream as loud as I want. I can basically just have complete freedom in the gym, which is something that is very rare. Like there's always someone in the gym, right? Especially with the commercial places. So I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna try come even earlier. And I'm gonna try come on the weekend to see if there's gonna be less people there. And hopefully I can have the gym to myself, right? That's the, that's the goal from this. So we're gonna come back. I'll see you there. So we're back again, 3, 10 a.m. Surely it's empty. 3.50 a.m. It's a Saturday morning slash Friday night. No one's waking up for work because it's a Saturday, right? <laughs> so surely there's no one there. One thing about coming at this time is that it's actually so peaceful. No one anywhere. It's just tranquil. Doesn't look like there's anyone in there. Good sign of the lights just come on. Yeah, I'm the only one here. This is crazy. I've actually got so much freedom right now. I feel so free just being in the gym, the whole place to myself. It hits different. It's 4.05, Saturday morning, diff. And so I've rocked up to an empty gym. I'm like, yeah. Five minutes into my workout, the same guy walks in. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. What demons is this guy fighting? Uh, I'm not alone. It just shows there's levels to this shit, bro.
just have my top off. <laughs> the guy saw me and he comes over because I just put my shirt back on because I realised he was here watching me. I was like, fuck. And he, he comes up to me and says, keep your shirt off, mate. Don't be ashamed. I'm like, fuck yeah, bro. Thank you. <laughs> He's always here at like 4 in the morning. He just told me that he wakes up at 3 normally. Gets to him at 4. He said he's going for a run and he's doing sparring and boxing later today, which is absolutely mental. Like, how the f do people do this? Gym, he's got gym 4 a.m., run 5.30 a.m., sparring and boxing later today. It shows, like, it just goes to show that, you know, you might think you're doing good at that three times a week going to the gym, which by, by all means, is a very good thing to start doing, but to show that there's absolute level systems and there are some people out there that are just absolute monsters. And it's at this point that the entire gym is mine. And you know, you start to try experiment with things that you normally wouldn't do when there's other people around. If someone walks in right now, I'm gonna absolutely fucking shit myself. But, oh, oh my god. What else can you do that you can never do when you're in the, when you're in the gym with heaps of other people? Now, this is probably such a stupid thing to do. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. If anyone's watching on the camera, that this <laughs> I swear I'm not. Oh, oh. Is coming at this time worth it? Depends on your circumstances in life, I reckon. If you're someone that has an absolutely hectic life, like for example, you're working non stop, maybe you have kids you've got to look after, maybe coming at this time is something that would work really well for you because it frees up the rest of your day do what you have to do I guess. So essentially this turned into a very long rant about how sleeping an insufficient amount of hours is going to adversely affect your life and I was sort of relating that to the fact that if you're waking up at 3, 4 a.m you know these crazy hours of the morning to go to the gym just so that you have extra time during the day to do work or look after your kids or whatever you have to be doing that it's probably not worth it because if you take those extra few hours to sleep, the quality of the work that you output is going to be so much higher. So while you might have more hours overall during the day, the productivity of those hours is going to be much lower. And in addition to this, a lack of sleep also has so many terrible consequences. So for males, testosterone drops significantly. You're more likely to put on fat. If you do lose weight, while you have a lack of sleep, that weight loss is more likely to come from muscle tissue as it is to come from fat. You're also more likely to get sick. And like, even as I edit this video, I can really feel the lack of sleep I had last night on just my general focus and mind state at the moment. It's a good thing coming at this time to walk on the treadmill and watch the sunrise. So my general conclusion is this. The average person isn't getting over eight hours of sleep if they're waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning. But if you are somehow getting sufficient sleep, by all means, go to the gym at this time. But that's gonna be at the sacrifice of staying up later and missing out on aspects of life, essentially. I think the more sustainable approach is make sure you're getting sufficient hours of sleep in and choose a time to go to the gym that works for you.